Yon, what's up mga kaibigan? Tayo ngayon nagbabalik ano, upang magbigay na naman ng panibagong kalaman sa ating mga uh, mabubuting mag-aaral. Ano? Gamit ang ating whiteboard marker, ang ating uh, whiteboard itself, at syempre yung ating eraser. Ano? So ayun, bago tayo magsimula, bago natin ilahad ang ating uh, lesson ngayong araw, ano? kung maaari lamang mga kaibigan, ano? kung maaari lamang, <laughs> Uh, mag-subscribe na kayo sa ating channel ano? at uh, ganun din naman uh, click nyo na yung ating notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga lessons na ating i-release sa mga susunod na araw ano? and also, syempre para masayang lahat comment, like, and share our videos para naman makatulong tayo sa iba alright, so yun, good luck guys Okay. So, I'll introduce nga no, we'll introduce uh, another method of factoring ano. So, factoring in difference of two squares. So, kapag tayo ay nakakita ng uh, polynomial which is a perfect square ano, we have let's say a binomial tapos yung dalawang terms nila ay perfect square parehas. Tapos uh, subtraction, we can apply this Uh, method ano. So again, this method is factoring in difference of two squares. So by the name itself nga ano, difference ng dalawang squares. So paano yung uh, method na ito? So kung natatandaan nyo pa dun sa ating special product ano, yung special product natin is if we multiply uh, a plus b yeah, ayun na magsulat by a minus b the answer will be a squared minus b squared so gagamitin natin yung konsepto na to no sa lesson natin ngayong araw kung ganito yung ating special product meaning yung ating uh, factoring babalik kalin lang natin okay so kung meron tayong uh, difference ng dalawang perfect square ano so difference dalas dalawang perfect square The factors are a plus b and a minus b. So, yun lang, ano? Ganun lang. Gag binaligtad lang natin dun sa special product natin, okay? So, to, to illustrate uh, this method, let us have uh, the following examples, ano? So, example number one, let's have um, 4x squared minus 36 equals 0. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Ah, wala pala. <laughs> Hindi pala equation. Sorry. Ano pala tayo? Polynomial. Sorry, sorry. Naghalo eh. So, walang equal 0 doon kasi magiging equation siya. So, again, we have this polynomial 4x squared minus 36 and we are required to factor this out. Okay? So, sabi ko nga kanina, kapag meron tayong polynomial or binomial na parehas perfect square yung kanilang terms, 4x squared is a perfect square, ano? 36 is also a perfect square. So, apply natin yung uh, concept natin kanina. Sa so, una, ano? So, ano magiging factors nito ngayon? So, kunin mo lang yung square root ng 4x squared, which is 2x. Tapos, the 2x din to, ano? Square root ng 36, which is 6. Tapos, ito ay plus, ito ay minus. Ganun lang. Ito na yung factors niya. No, mga kaibigan. Pero, kung papansin ninyo, mga kaibigan, ano? Yung naging factors natin is 2x plus 6, 2x minus 6. Meron pa pala siyang common factor. So, hindi pa ito yung ating final answer, ano? Medyo na gano'n tayo, naging excited tayo masyado. Gugong! Barilig kita sa mukha eh! Mga kaibigan. So, hindi pa yun yung nakabox natin. Hindi pa yun yung ating final answer, ano? Because they have common factors. Okay? So, anong common factor dito sa ating uh, uh, unang group na to? So, we can see that 2 is a common factor here, ano? So, labas ko yung 2 dito. 2x plus 6. And also, we have 2 dito as a common factor, ano? So, labas ko yung 2 doon. Hindi na pala to 2x plus 6, mga kaibigan. 
naglabas na nga pala tayo ng common factor ano. So nilabas natin yung common factor, that will be 2x divided by 2. So x na lang yun. Then 6 divided by 2, 3 na lang yan. Yan. So dito ganun din, naglabas tayo ng common factor na 2 ano. So 2x divided by 2, x na lang yun. So negative 6 divided by 2, that is 3 na lang. Okay? So meaning, our final answer now is 2 multiplied by 2, that is 4, x plus 3, x minus 3. Then, ito na yung ating final answer. So, ngayon, para hindi tayo uh, ma ma medyo malito dito, no? dito pa lang, common factor agad. Kasi yun yung ating uh, dapat pala, yun yung una nating kinoconsider, okay? Yung common factor muna. Alright. So, again, common factor muna and then apply the other methods. So, kung kuunin natin yung common factor dito, so, rewrite ko lang, ano? We have 4 as the common factor here. So, 4x squared divided by 4, that is x squared na lang. Ter negative 36 divided by 4, that is negative 9. No? Madali lang, ano? So, equals 4. Ito ngayon ay perfect square binomial, ano? Sabi ko nga, kung perfect square binomial yan, hatiin lang natin yan. So, x, x, square root ng x squared is x. Square root ng 3, ay, ng 9 is 3. Isang plus, isang minus. So, magkamukha lang sila, ano? So, kahit alin dyang gamitin nyo. Pero mas maganda, mas madaling tingnan kung mag-common factor muna tayo. Okay, that is uh, lesson, ano? Lesson na yan, lesson learned sa ating example number 1. Another example, example number 2, a squared b raised to 4 minus 81. So, a squared b raised to 4 is perfect square. 81 is also a perfect square. So, meaning, let us apply our concept. Ano? So, the defactors here are... Uh, Dalawa na sila, ano? dalawa na yung factors niya. Anong square root ngayon ng a squared b raised to 4? So, square root ng a squared is a. And square root ng b raised to 4 is b squared. So, a, b squared din ito. Square root ng 81 is 9. Isang plus, isang minus. Therefore, this is the final Answer. Ganun lang mga kaibigan na, na madali lang siya. Oh my God! Wow! Basta alam nyo yung ano, yung process and the concept to be used. So another example nga tayo mga kaibigan na, na. Example number 3. Let's say we have 9x squared minus 16y raised to 4. So again, as we can see, 9x squared is a perfect square. 16y raised to 4 is a perfect square. Okay? So, again, dalawang parenthesis, dalawang group, ano? Square root ng 9x squared is 3x. So, 3x, 3x. Square root ng 16y raised to 4, 16 is 4, ano? 4. Square root ng y raised to 4 is y squared. So, 4y squared. Isang plus, isang minus. That is our final answer for example number 3. Example number 4, mga kaibigan. <laughs> Nabubura pa. Example number 4, let's say um, 2 x y squared z cube minus 18 x cube z. Okay? So, kung ating titignan na, no? 2 is not a perfect square. 18 is not a perfect square. Pero, we can see that they have a common factor. Dito ko na lang lalagay, ha? Anong common factors? Coefficient common factor nila is 2. Yung GCF natin, ano? Then, meron tayong x dito, meron tayong x doon. And between 1 exponent and 3 exponent, 1 yung pinakamababa. So, x lang siya, ano? Meron tayong y, walang y. So, hindi siya common factor. Meron tayong z, 
meron tayong z. So, common factor yung z. Anong exponent? Siyempre, yung pinakamababa. 1. Okay? So, gcf niya is 2xz. Now, lagay natin yung matitira. So, eto, divide mo sa 2xz, no? So, cancel na yung 2. Cancel na yung x. Ang matitira is y squared. Tapos, z squared, ano? Kasi z cubed divided by z. z squared na siya. Okay? Minus, 18 divided by 2, that is 9. x cubed divided by x, that is x squared. Then, z divided by c, that is 1. So, cancel na yun. Now, kung ating pagmamasdan ito, no? kung ating uh, pagmamas, mag, pagmamasidan, yun. Ito ay perfect square. Ito ay perfect square. So, we can apply now our concept. Ano? So, copy natin yung common factor na 2xz. Tapos, yung two factors ngayon. Ano ngayon ang square root na to? We have yz. yz. Square root ng 9x squared, that is 3x, ano? 3x, 3x. So, isang plus, isang minus. Therefore, this is our final answer. So, remember, again, una ay yung GCF. And then, apply the other method. Let us have, I think, uh, ito na yung magiging huli example, ano? Number 5. Example number 5. Number 5, y raised to 4 minus 16. So, obviously, ano, gamitin natin yung ating uh, concept sa lesson natin ngayong araw. y raised to 4 is perfect square. 16 is perfect square. So, paghiwala yan. Square root of y raised to 4 is y squared. So, y squared, y squared. Square root ng 16 is 4. 4. So, isang plus, isang minus. Ngayon, ito na ba yung final answer? So, as we can see, we have a perfect square. Perfect square, ano? Pero, that is addition. So, we cannot apply uh, the concept on this term. Kasi addition to eh. How about on this term? So, perfect square, perfect square, subtraction. Meaning, we can now apply. Okay? So again, tandaan niyo sa difference lang natin may apply yung konsepto na to. Okay, so copyin ko lang itong y squared plus 4, ano? Ito ngayon ay maghihiwalay ulit. Ano ang uh, square root ng y squared? That is y. Square root ng 4, that is 2, ano? So y and 2. Isang plus, isang minus. Therefore, ito na yung ating final answer. And that is all for uh, today's lesson, mga kaibigan. Ano? And hopefully, tayo ay nakatulong muli, mga kaibigan. At kung gayon man, share mo na sa kaklase mo at sa mga kaibigan mo para ikaw rin ay makatulong. Ano? Maraming salamat, kaibigan. God bless.